Good evening, sports fans, on this late Tuesday, August 22nd, 2017. It is down now for Sports Man Up on this late Tuesday, August 22nd, 2017. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter J. Wiggins. It is 11.06 p.m. on First, top story on the Sports Man Up. Starting off at Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio, where the Boston the Red Sox squared off against the Cleveland Indians, and the Red Sox got on the board first, and I don't remember a single on ground ball to Center field of Bradley Zimmer, that scores Andrew Benedict, and it was one up and faded the Red Sox. And then, bottom of the first, Francisco Lindo home was on a far ball to right center field to tie a one, but then the Sox took over from there. Top of the second, suddenly on out of the second fire, the left field of Brendan Garner that scores Zender Bogarts was 2 1 faded the Red Sox. And then, top of the fifth, Jack Bradley Jr. home was on a far ball to center field to make it 3 1 Red Sox to the top of the fifth. And then, top of the seventh, Indian Jones technically calling field was the bell. There's Rodney Nunez doubles on a line drive. The left field of Brendan got it. That scores Send Leon and Jack Bradley was 5 1 in favor of the Red Sox. And then Eddie Benning the doubles on five ball. The left field of Brendan got it. That scores Rodney Nunez 18 double for Benning. makes it 6 1 Red Sox. And then double eight. Ed Rodney Nunez doubles on a line drive. The center field that scores Send Leon and Chris Young as the Boston Red Sox smash the Cleveland Indians 9 1 that scored a 72 and 53 in the season as they remain four and a half ahead of the Yankees for first place in AL East. Doug Fister got the win. He gave up only one hit, which is a Lindor homer, but otherwise he was sharp for the attack. Gave up, struck out six in a complete game. The first time the Red Sox said a one hitter was John Lester back in May 2013, and Carrasco got the loss. Next up for the Red Sox, three of a four game series with two primary man of the Red Sox and Corey Kluber and for the Indians. Okay, look at some other Major League Baseball scores. Miami Marlins lead in the Philadelphia Phillies, 7 4, 7 9. Bottom of the night, Chicago Cubs lead in the Red Sox, 13 7. Bottom of the night, Washington Nationals over the Houston Astros, 4 3 in the top of the night. San Diego Padres over the St. Louis Cardinals, 12 4, bottom of the eight. LA Angels lead in the Texas Rangers, 1 11 in the top of the third. South Coast Jets and the Milwaukee Brewers tied at 1 and bottom of the three. Miami Marlins over the Philadelphia Phillies, 12 8. LA Dodgers the Pittsburgh Pirates, 8 5. Oakland Athletics over the Baltimore, 6 4. Arizona Bats over the New York Mets, 7 4. New York Yankees over the Detroit Tigers, 13-4. Tampa Bay Rays over the entire round. Blue Jays, 6-5. LM Braves blank the Seattle Mariners, 4-0. Kansas City Royals with Kyle Rockies, 3-2. And the Minnesota Twins over the Chicago White Sox, 4-1. Down on the bomb, once again. Not such good results for the Paul Sox and the Sea Dogs. Second Red Sox fall to the Buffalo Bisons at McCoy 6-2 when the Buckland Sea got Dogs got blanked by the Trend and Thunder in New Jersey. 8 to nothing. Okay, let's take a look at some sports news on this late Tuesday night. Cleveland Cavaliers settled his both can have a winners in Kyrie Irving blockbuster trade as Kyrie Irving goes to the Celtics and Isaiah Thomas goes for the Cleveland Cavaliers. TMZ reports that John Jones fails USATA test for Jenna Ball. What is that? After Shotsville, ESPN pulls out the National Rivalry from the Virginia game. New York Giants Ben McAdoo will be getting the status of injured quarterback receiver as Odell Beckham Jr. and Brendan Marshall. Flavor Vines Jackson close to choosing starting quarterback. Patriots give President Trump his own Super Bowl 51 ring. Sean McVay not bought by age based series taps. Conor McGregor, Paul and Manning in each other's place at a grand and rival press event. Union President Winston says NFL cannot afford a lockout. Lindsey Vaughn slams the despicable leak of an intimate photos act from the phone. Dodgers hopeful for speedy returns as Cody Bellinger asks would go on DL. Dallas Mavericks Dennis Smith Jr. voted most likely rookie of the year. LeBron James Jr. showcase at skills and highlight reel. Katie Sides, 49 assistant possibly LGBT NFL coach. O'Brien reaffirms Tom Savage as a Texan starting quarterback. David Wright, next surgery looks. To begin rehab, assignment hopes to rejoin Mets this year. Chuck Pagano says still no time for Andrew Luck, and Matt Fonte practices for the first time in three weeks and ready for Saturday's preseason game. And that's going to be it for Sports Man Up on this late Tuesday night, August 22nd, 2017. I'm PJ3. Have a good night with a good Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow night. I hope you all have a good night.